I'm still buying silver, even though things look kind of slow out there. I just think back to the Silver Institute's price projections for 2023, which were an average price of $23 an ounce. Today's silver price is right around $23, so right where it should be. My approach to stacking is to dollar cost average, so if the price dips from here, it doesn't really matter much to me. In the last video, I talked about buyers being gone. In the comments, some of you brought up the difficult times leading to some to have to sell their silver just to get by. That's true, and I can empathize. Been through some ups and downs myself. I put in this here order of silver from some extra money I got selling on eBay a few items I don't need anymore. I tell you, once I started digging around through the closets, I found stuff I'd forgotten I even had. I have side hustles too, and that helps balance things out. The important thing is, don't use your bill paying money or your credit card for stacking. Okay, so let's get to unboxing this order. I made a mistake on this order, which delayed shipment. You see, there was one silver bar that was a pre-sale item. I just assumed they'd ship the other items out first and then the pre-sale when it became available. But they didn't do that, and instead held the entire order up on that one item. I should have put in two separate orders. It's no big deal though. This order is from Bullion Exchanges, by the way. I don't have a decent LCS nearby, so my only option is online dealers. This is my second order from these guys, so we'll see how they do. First up is the big guy. A one kilo Pamp Swiss silver bar. It's three nines fine silver. It has a brushed finish. It's the only one I've seen like this. All the other bars have a polished finish. It has a serial number and it includes an assay with matching serial numbers. Next we have a 10 ounce Horea silver bar. This one is four nines of fine silver. It also has a serial number etched and includes a certificate of authenticity. Here's what held up the order. It's a 10 ounce Britannia silver bar. That's a really nice looking design. And it's sealed inside a clear plastic. Some bars come in a milky plastic, which I usually just cut off. But this seal is pretty nice, so I'll just keep that on there. It's 3.9 silver, that's fine. 3.9s, 4.9s, doesn't matter a lot to me. Now this has no serial number. I kind of like having a serial number on bars because that could aid in recovery if it's ever stolen. It's not likely that will ever happen. And the few things I've had stolen, like bicycles, have never been recovered. So, don't know if it matters to have a serial number. The reason they put it on there is for authenticity. And finally, a 10 ounce Asahi silver bar. It's 3 nines fine silver. This is also sealed nicely like the Britannia. I like these. Also like the Britannia, no serial number. One thing that stands out about the Britannia is this comes from a government mint. All of the others are from private mints or refineries. I don't know if that makes a difference, but to some people, it might. Well, there you have it. 62 ounces of silver to add to the stack today. That was a lot of fun. Well, I hope you got something useful out of that. If you did, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. We'll see you next time.